Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today we're going to be talking about the roadmap and week one hotfixes for Isanzo. So real quick, let's just look at this roadmap and talk about what's on it, because I've seen a fair bit of confusion throughout the community, and this should at least partially clear that up. So the Germans are not currently in the game, but they are listed here in the first panel of post-launch content. The next maps that will be added are the Battle of Caporetto and the Battle of Monte Grappa, but after these first two, the pictures and names for all the rest have been blurred out. Caporetto being the first one added makes a lot of sense considering the Germans were reinforcing the Austro-Hungarians during that battle, and Monte Grappa is just iconic iconic and probably a good marketing decision considering its presence in Battlefield 1. With this having 3 maps shown but no listed time frame, it makes me wonder if we'll be getting these all at once or over a longer time frame. Personally, I would assume the latter because from an optimization standpoint, it's smarter to release them one by one and then patch any associated issues before releasing more. But regardless, we'll have to wait and see for this. So let's move on to the rest here. Sometime within this first section, we'll be getting more challenges, more custom match options, max support, prestiging, which I'm not sure how that will work, but once again, we'll see, and of course, new cosmetics for the German faction. Now, looking at this new panel, we have the White War, which apparently has two snow-themed maps, a new game mode, and more cosmetics. This honestly has me very excited, because even though we've seen the World War 1 game series in snowy weather before, I want to see how that will look with the game's upgraded graphical improvements to the lighting and textures. And then finally, we have this last one with a bluish-green color palette looking map and some more red looking one. I don't really know what to make of those to be honest, but if you guys think you know what it is, please let me know in the comments below. But this will have those two maps, new weapons, and of course more cosmetics. So now that the roadmap is out of the way, let's talk about the stuff that's already happened, which is primarily just some launch day damage control and adjusting for the first waves of feedback. So the first top fixes that came were primarily bug fixes like startup issues on Steam and some issues with the scopes not working as intended, but then we had a much more definitive patch on the 16th that lowered the XP requirements to level up, reduced a lot of the challenges for unlocking weapons, increased call in time for some of the officer abilities, nerfed spotting by decreasing its length, added a challenge progress meter when you spawn, change the footstep and first person weapon sounds, and then a ton of bug fixes and performance improvements. Overall, I think this is a really good start, but they need to go further. It still takes way too long to level up classes and to do the challenges for new guns. Yes, player retention is a good thing, but a casual audience will likely lose interest before they can get to them with the current system. I think going further with the buffs to progression will help, but I'd even take it a step further making kills and defending or attacking contested objectives worth more XP than it is. Regardless, feedback is the most important aspect of all of this, so keep it coming in a constructive format and hopefully we'll see the game grow into its full potential. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.